Welcome back to Behind the Glass. We've been hard at work on season two and release date is right around the corner. You're gonna see some new things, some things that are gonna look familiar and some stuff that we've been keeping quiet but we are now ready to show you. Before we get to that though, we didn't wanna pass up the opportunity to give you a quick recap on what we looked at in the previous season as well as show you some footage that we've never shown you and we'll wrap everything up with some bloopers. So, let's get started. Last season, we kicked things off with hall construction and took it all the way through the build process. We learned that the hull is the bottom of the boat. It's what dictates the shear line, length, ride quality, and so much more. The hull is built from the outside in, in multiple layers. The first layer being the gel coat layer. After that, we apply the skin coat layer, followed by some advanced composites and wrapping everything up with the bulk layer. Certain areas, like the transom, receive special materials for strength and rigidity. The next step was to build the stringer system. The stringer is the backbone of the boat and is placed between the deck and hull. It's what gives the necessary support and houses the important components like fuel tanks, sea kipper pods, and much more. What makes our stringers so special is that each is designed for a specific model and is built to be a full structural part. We then touched up on the differences between our traditional stringers compared to the full grid stringers found on our larger models. Next, we focused on the deck of the boat. This is the area you will be walking around and enjoying while on the water. It's also what gives the boat its layout and will probably be a major deciding factor in choosing the right boat for you. Just like the hull and stringer, the deck starts with a white gel coat layer, followed by a fiberglass skin layer and some more advanced cornering materials that give the deck the sturdy structure. Special composite materials are utilized around cleats and hinges for additional strength and rigidity. The decks are not quite complete until it has all of its small parts installed. So for the next installment, we focused on our small parts department. These are the parts that may get overlooked like fish boxes, live wells, consoles, and more. These again go through the same lamination process as all of the other fiberglass parts. Some of our larger consoles require two parts to be bonded to create a finished interior space inside of the console. These essential components end up taking advantage of every available inch of space between the deck and stringer. Once the parts have been installed on the deck, it moves on to our assembly area, where we like to say it truly becomes a boat. The capping section of the assembly line is where we completely rigged the hull and deck. 
installing all of the essential components like bilge pumps, transducers, plumbing, and wiring. Once complete, the hull and deck are bonded together using a bonding putty. At this point, the boat is shaping up nicely. So, we moved on to a different section of the plant, the upholstery department. At Sportsman, we build all of our cushions in-house with a combination of CNC machines and highly skilled seamstresses that manufactured the hundreds of cushions required to complete our weekly production. Watching them work, you can see what we mean when we say our boats are handmade. These ladies are hands-on and spend a great deal of time crafting every cushion. Another major sub-assembly in the manufacturing process is the console department. Each console is designed to be ergonomically correct and provide you with the confidence behind the wheel. We followed step by step as the clean glass helms featured in every sportsman boat come together. This is certainly one of the most intricate parts of the boat and where you'll spend the most time while operating the boat. Our goal is to make sure the console delivers great visibility, functionality, and comfort. At this time, we visited one of the more unique departments here at Sportsman and that is our metal fabrication shop. During the episode, we covered how we build all of the metal parts throughout our boat, from leaning posts to hard top frames. We also got to see some of the more advanced engineering and machinery that goes into bending the strong D-tubing. Our processes allow us to have a single piece of aluminum for the ultimate strength on every top. No boat is complete without having every inch of it scrutinized by our quality control department. From design to production floor, our boats meet the highest standards set by the ABYC and are backed by an NMMA certification. Our quality tracking ties into our customer service, warranty department, and continuous improvement programs. We believe in quality by design, and this goes all the way back to the designing and prototyping phase of each model. Recording behind the glass is a massive undertaking, and most of the time, things go smoothly. However, sometimes, well, 
I'll just let you see for yourself. No, no bloopers. <laughs> My name is Russ Tomlinson. <laughs> Squirrel. Hopefully we can cut that out. Sorry. I digress. Ready? Okay, so I see that we mixed all our waters. We may I have one of those that may or may not be mine. Taking a look at how we are revolutionizing our segment in aesthetics, ergonomics, a big drill behind me, and ruining the take. Let's try it. He's gonna ruin it at the end, but here we go. Right? Hello? Oh, I didn't see you there. Huh, have you seen this? It's a center console. There's a center console in it. Bam. Can't make that up. Oh, hello there. Didn't see you. At the center of every center console is a center console. Now this collector, you okay? Yeah, go ahead. Sport link. Sport link. Am I gonna say welcome or no? Welcome to all small parts of the production. Yeah. Easy, I don't know why I'm having trouble with this. And that is because this box actually gets And this box then gets, then gets the, then. God, ah. No, I'm not ready. We'll get it in the 15th take. Line. Each seamstress, each seam, seamstress. Each seamstress, seems, Seamstress, that's a weird word. Let's take a quick moment here and talk about some of the other parts. Screw that, damn it. I forgot what we're doing here. Ah. Thank you for sending one. Now that we have the, now that we have all of the prey port. Now this is, this is, this is sucking. From Channel 5, reporting live. Charleston, South Carolina. Pew, 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 pew. Nailed it. Heading into season two, we continue to dive deep into the processes and techniques that we use during the boat fabrication process. And we'll go inside the biggest and most impressive machine here at Sportsman. We'll have a change of pace as we take our show on the road and visit some of our strategic partners, taking you behind their doors to show you how their products are made. Stay tuned for season two as we continue our journey behind the glass. From Somerville, South Carolina, my name is Victor and thank you for watching.